in this video, we're going to look at combining um, the TheraBand, resistance band, with some um, work from the arms and the glutes, um, and also into a little bit of um, hip work in between. Okay, so let's go. Obviously, you need a band. You can do without a band, it's just that it's more fun with it, personally, I think. So you're going to need to warm up first. Again, I've got so many videos on my YouTube channel that you can watch classes and things you can warm up first. Otherwise, then come back and see me. So, you're going to get on your band, you're going to stand in the middle of it, and you're going to take your feet about shoulder distance apart. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to squat. So I'm going to face the sides, you can see, engage your tummy. When you squat, you're going to take your hips back and behind you. In case of your knees will be over your ankles, not your toes, you want to be here, you want to be behind. I'm going to press through the heels and squeeze my glutes, your bum cheeks, as you come up. Let's just do that for a second first. So I press back, I pull my tummy in, and then as I come up, I press through the heels and I squeeze my bottom really, really tight, keeping the shoulders down the whole time. So I'm really clenching my bum cheeks. So I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to go down and pull it up. We're going to add on the arms. Let's just do a bit of the arms on our own first. I should probably face this way again still. So we're going to bend the knees. And we're going to do is going to hug the elbows in towards the ribs. My palms are facing each other. Okay? And I'm going to my elbows exactly where they are. And I'm going to pull up and exhale to release. Inhale. And exhale, you can breathe the other way around if you prefer. It's just really a preference. There are different ways of breathing. There are many different ways to breathe. The goal is that you keep nice and strong in the body. And then what we're going to do is a triceps, okay, which is the back of the arm. So I do the same thing. I keep my elbows and against my ribs. And I extend the arms away. And I extend the arms away. Extend the arms away. But notice my arms aren't moving. It's different, okay? We want to put the elbows in and we want to target the triceps back of the upper arm. So, you're really working the arms. Okay, and the tummy is engaged. You should feel the whole body working. So that's the three, the, those three parts. And we're all going to do the army. So I'm going to go and bend my knees, sit heavy into the ground, pull the tummy and lift the chest, and get the hip circles going. Okay, so if you don't know what an army is, go and check out my YouTube channel, the army series, the figure it as, the circle series even, and I break down the movement in more detail. And so, there's lots of other strength training videos coming. I've got loads of other videos available also on my YouTube channel as well, and my Insta TV channel. If you go on simulatedbangarts.com website, that is, uh, we, I run proper courses. So YouTube is great for quick little videos, quick tips and things like that. But if you want to learn properly and make a lot of progress, then you need to take the course with me via my website instead you'll learn significantly more. The classes are an hour long, there's loads of classes, and they all build from the previous class. And I have my own syllabus. So we learn properly and effectively over a period of time, rather than just a whole group of random different videos covering different things, yeah? So that's melissabaynance.com. So your circles are going. That should be a bit of a workout within itself. So you bend the knees, and what I want you to do now is you really pull the tummy in, lift the chest, shoulders go downwards, and arms go upwards. Okay, you're trying to maintain that. I don't want my wrist to sickle and do weird things, yeah? You want to keep your wrist in line with your forearm nice and straight, and the movement from the shoulders. So we stay there when you breathe, and now we have the circles going again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna combine them now. We're gonna do squats, and the circles. We're going to face the side so you can see what happens. When we do the squat, we will start with your arms in bicep position, so this is your biceps. And as we come down into the squat, we're going to take the arms back and straighten them as with our bottom. And then up and press back. Up and press back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Four, tummy tight, long back. Check your posture and your alignment all the time. It's really, really, really important. And also make sure you're breathing. Two more. Last one. 
Okay, we're gonna stay up, take the arms out to the side, up, down. These are the shoulder raises, so we're working in our shoulders, but you'll probably feel it everywhere in the body because of what we're doing. I'm gonna hold it out in circles. Your circle speed is up to you. I just encourage you to really focus on the muscles and really try to keep the arms lifted. Make sure your shoulders are not lifting. Make sure you're not leaning back or slouching forward to achieve the movement. I'd rather you do less and do it properly than do more and be like just like wasting your time and hurting yourself. Because better you have better technique. Be aware of what we are doing in your circle. For the second time now, we're going to change the direction. Okay? All right, let's go. So five, six, five, six, seven, and press back. Rise up. Squat. Remember, you're pushing through the heels, even though your feet are sharing the band. You still want to press through the heels on the way up and squeeze the bottom. Back. Four. And three. And two. And one. And. Circles. Okay, now you make sure you go in circles the other way now. And breathe. And let's have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We do one more time on each side. You should be really hot. <laughs> and four, three, two, and then face the front. Back, extend the arms and rise up. Contract and back, triceps, biceps, glutes as you come up. Yes, four, make sure you're engaging your tummy. Three, don't swear at me in your head <laughs> or at the screen. <laughs> up, and back. It's a bit of a coordination one, this one as well. Last time up, press back, rise, stay nice and low for your circles. On we go. Circle, circle. Engage your tummy slightly so you're not just throwing your hips around. Try to keep the arms as high as you can. But down here, it's not doing anything. So you're trying to lift and maintain that. Yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you're almost there. Back, up, back, and up. If you like the music, music, this music is called Ashes and Embers by Tribal from the Trap. If you are a dancer or a performer or a teacher or somebody who needs to use music for social media, you can use Tribal from the Trap. Music is license free. So you can use the music without any problems on your social media, it won't block your videos or anything. Four, three, Two and one. Pick the arms up, look from the spine. Plie, plie is like a baby squat. Baby bend, it's not even a baby squat, it's a little baby bend. Keep the circles going. Make sure your wrist is straight line. You're not bending your wrist and doing weird things. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I was too busy talking to you, so I don't know how many we've got left. Let's do one more for fun. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing and you're not just doing this. It's not the same. Control it. Three, two, last round then. Okay, I'm gonna face the side again. Breathe. Okay, have you looking good in no time? Okay, ready? Five, six, seven. Press back and lift. And back and lift. And back and lift. Four, breathe. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Sit. Circles. Keep the circles really going. Stay nice and low. The arms lifted, keep the shoulders down, keep the chest lifted, keep the neck long and breathe. You have to breathe. You have to breathe. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and arms go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, four, three, smile, no swearing, <laughs> two, one, okay, release. So that's uh, a little bit of resistance band work with the TheraBand. And uh, with the arms, we work the arms, biceps, triceps, we work the glutes, we work the legs, we work the core, really good exercises. And we work the shoulders, and we had some fun, doing some circles at the same time, I hope. So, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos on my YouTube page and my Insta, Insta account as well, Melissa Baynott. And if you want to take classes with me properly and make progress, proper progress, not just random spotlight videos here and there, then go to my website, take classes with me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.